Hi Bold Bakers. As the weather cools down around here, this is the time of year I like to treat myself to hot chocolates and nice flavored coffees. So I thought this was the perfect time to share with you my recipe for homemade coffee creamers. The recipe as always can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com and make sure you head over to my website because I've got so much stuff over there. Okay, let's get started. Well, what is coffee creamer? It is something that you add to a hot chocolate or a coffee at the end to add extra sweetness and a different flavor. I'd never heard about it until I moved to the United States. Kevin always put it in his coffee and I have to say it makes it taste amazing. However, we're gonna do homemade versions which are even better because we know exactly what's going into them. The first flavor that we are making is the always popular French vanilla. So we're gonna get started in a nice saucepan. So first things first, we're going to add in our milk. Now, you'll be happy to know that you can use any type of milk, even dairy-free milk, soy, nut, you can use low-fat milk, whatever you like, it's totally your preference. Okay, so our next ingredient is condensed milk. Now, I have a recipe on Bigger Boulder Baking of how you can actually make this at home, and you'll be happy to know I also have a dairy-free version, so you can keep this completely dairy-free. The condensed milk is really important because it adds that little bit of sweetness to your creamer. Our next very important ingredient here is a fresh vanilla pod and its seeds. Now you can buy these online really inexpensively. I've got a link on my website. They're really great to have in your home and then also you can use them to make homemade vanilla extract. Okay, so that's everything in there. Now we're gonna turn this on to medium low and we're gonna let this mix slowly come to a simmer. So you see all those lovely little bubbles forming on top. It's starting to simmer. So here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna turn off the heat and once it's off the heat, I'm going to add in some vanilla extract. Now this just gives extra flavor. There's no point in making French vanilla if you can't taste the vanilla. Okay, lovely. Now just set this over to the side and let it cool down before we put it into our jar. So my coffee creamer has cooled down. I did pass it through a sieve to remove the vanilla pod and any lumpy bumpy bits. And I have a jar here and I'm just gonna pour that in. Just so you know, this makes around three cups of coffee creamer, which is roughly around 500 milliliters. And you'll be happy to know that this lasts longer than fresh milk. It will last roughly around six to seven days, maybe even a little bit longer in your fridge. Because of the sugar in the condensed milk, it keeps for that little bit extra. Also, if you make a dairy-free version, that'll keep for even longer. Oh my gosh. You know, if you're a coffee lover, you can really like pump up the flavor of your morning coffee with these coffee creamers. It just tastes so yummy and kind of sophisticated. Okay, so that's one coffee creamer. Let's move on to our next one. So another really popular coffee creamer out there is pumpkin spice, which is great because it's the perfect time of year for it. So just like the last one, I'm going to add my milk into my saucepan. Now I like to use full fat milk, but remember I said you can use any type of milk you like, dairy or low fat or whatever. The next are condensed milk. This adds nice consistency and also that sweetness. Next up, we're going to add in some pumpkin puree. Now you can make your own or you can use tins. Both work really well. And then of course, to make it taste like fall and the holidays, we're going to add in a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Now I have a recipe on my website of how you can make this. And if you don't want to, you can always just use cinnamon. Give that a little bit of a stir. And then back on the heat to a medium low and just let this come to a simmer and infuse. I already know by looking at this, this is gonna be Kevin's favorite flavor. So while this is coming to a simmer, let me tell you about my holiday baking headquarters. Now, if you don't know about it, let me tell you. I've got a whole section on my website dedicated to all recipes for the holidays. And there's lots of stuff that doesn't make it onto YouTube or Facebook. So it is your one-stop shop for the holidays. Every recipe you'll need, cookie, no-bake desserts, whatever you want for the holiday season, it's there. So make sure you go and check it out. I really like the lovely orange color this goes. It smells amazing. So now I'm gonna turn it off the heat because it's coming to a simmer, and I'm going to add in some vanilla extract. And then just give that a bit of a stir in. This just adds even more flavor, but if you want to, you can leave it out. And then we're just gonna move our pot over to the side and let our creamer cool down. So my pumpkin coffee creamer has cooled down. I also passed this through a sieve to remove any lumpy bumpy bits. And then I'm just gonna fill up my jar. Look at that. Do you know what? I'm going to call Kevin because he's going to love this. Kevin! Try that. Awesome gem. Is it nice? That's one of my favorites. Oh, tastes like the holidays. That's really good. So okay, good. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so that is absolutely lovely. 
No doubt about it, but this flavour is perfect for warming you up on a cold winter's evening because of the lovely spice in it. Okay, another great flavour. Now let's move on to our next one. So this next flavour has to be my favourite. We are going to Irish it up a little bit and make a Bailey's coffee creamer. So just like before, add in your milk and condensed milk. Then turn on your heat to a medium low and let this mix come to a simmer. So now if you'd like to make these coffee creamers with a little bit more of a natural sugar like Lakanto or maple syrup or agave, you can do that. Just know that your flavour will be a little bit different to mine and you won't get the exact same results. So as you can see this has come to a simmer. I'm going to turn it off the heat and at this point we add in our Baileys or any type of Irish coffee cream and then just give it a quick stir around. Now the reason that you never add alcohol in on the heat is because it burns it off and you want the flavour to stay intact so always add it when the heat is turned off. Okay this smells amazing. I'm going to set it over to the side and let this cool down. So my Baileys has cooled down. I didn't pass this one through a sieve because we only added Baileys in there. And then just go ahead and fill up your jar. You know I probably could drink this as it is but I have some hot chocolate here and I'm just going to add a little touch in there. And then of course I'm going to top it with a few marshmallows. And you know what, if you're looking for a hot chocolate recipe, I've got an amazing one on my website. That's just like a hug for your soul. A hug for your soul in a mug, yummy. Oh, it's creamy, it's sweet. It's got a little bit of an Irish kick in there. Hands down, this is going to be my favorite drink this winter time. No matter what your favorite flavor, these homemade coffee creamers will make a great addition to your favorite hot drinks. So the fun doesn't have to stop here, head over to my holiday baking headquarters on my website and check out all my fantastic recipes for this holiday season. I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.